The case market has never been more incredible and competitive than with the launch of the brand new Height Y70 Touch that I have right here before you. Height sponsored this video for me to take a look at their brand new entry into the high-end case market, and it delivers on essentially all fronts. We have this thing kitted out with a 4090, one of the latest 14th gen Intel processors, and the Y70 Touch makes it all look great, but then also gives you some extra feature sets. So one of the things that a lot of people ask when they first see the Y70 Touch, especially when we did our live stream build of this PC, was, is this just the Y60, but with the touchscreen? And the answer is that they are very similar. They are siblings in Height's case lineup, but the Y70 is actually bigger and does include the touchscreen. One of the most popular mods for the Y60 was to put a form of a screen here in this front glass section to make it so that you could have a display that you could interact with, but that's not installed by the manufacturer and also doesn't come with the 10 point multi-touch that Height has included here. And this screen is incredible. I did say 10 point multi-touch, but Height's box wants me to say that it's 10 finger multi-touch support and it's waifu ready. So you can already tell this is gonna be fun. So this screen right here is a 14.1 inch 1100 by 3840 display. So that means it has a 4K width going vertically, which is also known as a Height a pun. But that gives you a great pixel per inch of 283. This thing comes in at 60 hertz and it is a full touch screen that you can use in your regular Windows desktop environment as you can see here. Or when we built it on our live stream, I could actually use it to configure the BIOS of the motherboard that's on here because it's actually just connected to your graphics card. Height has cables that come out of the back of the display here, mini display port as well as USB-C. Those split off into power and then communication via the USB header on your motherboard to this little adapter that they have at the back to a full display port setup, which then goes in to your graphics card controlling the display that you actually have. So you can use this for gaming. You can use this to watch YouTube videos. You can use this essentially for everything you use a display for. But with the 10 point multi-touch, you can actually use your fingers to interact with what's going on. And Height has actually enabled a whole bunch of different things in their Nexus software app, as you can see right here. You can have multiple different profiles set up to show you all of the things that you want. You can have a calculator that you can interact with. You can have an emoji keyboard that you're gonna type with. You can control all of your media functions by pressing the buttons that are on here. You have a little fish. There's a form of a block game that's on here, or you can monitor all of your system specs, as you can see right here. And this can be co fully configured in the Height Nexus software, giving you a whole bunch of options to work with. And the best part is it's integrated into the case chassis as a core part of the experience, giving you everything that you need for being a PC DIY enthusiast. So it retains a lot of the things that people love from the Y60, including that three-piece panoramic glass to showcase the rest of the system. However, it is now replaced by a screen screen in this middle section, but also you get four different color combinations to choose from, and it's dual chamber, so that you can host all of your cable management at the back and keep the front clean for everything that matters. In this front section here, you can fit up to an EATX motherboard. Since Height sent us the black and white version of the Y70 Touch, I made sure to go with a motherboard that fits. So this is actually the brand new Z790 Aorus Pro X, which comes complete with a white PCB, helping to make sure that this has a great dual tone scheme that's going on. But one of the benefits of the Y70 Touch over the Y60 is the fact that it is a larger case. So you can fit up to two 360 mil radiators, one up top and one in this side section right here. At the top, you can fit up to a 68 millimeter thick radiator and at the side, you can fit up to 125. And then back here, you can fit an additional 120 mil radiator or an extra 140 mil fan if that's your desire. And that gave us the perfect ability to use this Corsair IQ H150i RGB elite white cooler with a 360 millimeter radiator, which is cooling down our i7-14700K, the brand new 20 core CPU that has come out from Intel. But it also gave us plenty of space to install this RTX 4090 from Galax. This is their Hydro White GPU. So you have an RTX 4090 in power right here, but then you also have a 360 millimeter radiator cooling it down. And in the Y60, a combination like this simply wouldn't be possible. 
possible. But here in the Y70 Touch, everything stays perfectly cool. At max load, punching out the CPU by running a game in Cinebench at the same time and running Cyberpunk at the highest ray tracing capabilities, drawing over 850 watts, dumping all of that heat into the system. The CPU gets quite toasty because that's what Intel's 14th gen chips do. But with the 4090, we are staying relatively cool thanks to the fact that we can fit a 360 mil radiator for both of these chips. I can run full clock speed on the 14700K and I don't have to worry about that interfering with the cooling that's going on with my 4090. Which height has actually configured this case to fit up to a quad slot air cooled card if that is your desire by having these vertical slots right here. And you do get an extra slot distance away from the tempered glass panel once it's on to help with some of that breathing room that the GPU may want. But to also help with that, they've included a little fan basement that's down below the main section of the case. This hosts some of the cable management that goes to the touchscreen right here, but you can also install an additional three 120 mil fans or two 140 mil fans up to 32 millimeters thick. So this gives you a lot of air that you could blow up to go past your air-cooled GPU to go straight out the top with your CPU radiator if that's your desire. So you have four vertical slots right here with a matching PCI Express riser that connects to your GPU to make sure that it can go in that orientation. That comes included with the Y70, so you don't have to worry about purchasing that separately. And one of the most beautiful things I've seen Height do is actually create a PCI Express riser that matches the case. It's such a beautiful move, you love to see it here. But with that, you have seven horizontal PCI Express slots. The only difference here is that they are half height slots. So you could potentially, you know, not install a high-end graphics card and get like a GT 1030 half height card that you want to install there. Or you can use them for things like smaller Wi-Fi cards, potentially get an adapter for some of the other accessories that you had. It's one of the things that if you are an enthusiast who uses a lot of PCI Express slots and you need a lot of full size slots, the Height Y70 Touch might be a case that won't meet your needs there. But if you're just looking to have a graphics card connected to the slot running as fast as possible with as much cooling potential as you can get, the Height Y70 Touch sure does deliver there. And this thing is a dream to cable manage in. You have the dual chamber design, which gives you a lot of free access to move cables on the backside. It also comes with reusable Velcro straps to make sure that your cable management staying nice and tucked. Additionally, you do have these floating storage sleds that are back here. So Height also thinking about people who want to use hard drives. I personally am vehemently against them, so I don't have any installed, but if you wanted to, Height does give you that option and they are in an absolutely stunning configuration right behind the motherboard tray and they're clearly labeled and fit with the design scheme of the rest of the chassis. And then there's just other things that seasoned PC builders can actually appreciate, like the toolless ability to take the top panel off as well as the side panel and the rear panel, making sure that you have access to everything that you're trying to get into. Installing the radiator for the 360 mil cooler up top was not a problem at all. You have plenty of space to actually run the cables for your CPU power and all of your fan headers, making sure that you can route them to the back nice and neatly. You can fit a full-size power supply back here. The one we chose to go with was the Superflower LeadX 1000 watt Platinum, delivering all of the power that we need at one of the highest efficiency levels that we can get, making sure that it's enough for this 4090 and the 14700K at peak loads, which you're typically not doing in gaming. If you're just gaming, it's going to be at that sweet spot of middle of the road for efficiency. But to just round out this PC build to make sure that it was matching with the color scheme we decided on, I went with the Corsair Dominant Dominator Titaniums. These are the brand new ones in white. This is their 48 gig kit, so that it's two sticks of 24 gigabytes at DDR5 7200, making sure that we're feeding that 14700K with really fast RAM. And then additionally, the SSD in here is a crucial T700 two terabyte PCI Express 5.0 SSD. Essentially packing this with some of the best enthusiast level parts that you can get on the market right now. And the Height Y70 Touch keeps it all cool, keeps it all running and makes it look beautiful, especially with a new experience that a lot of people haven't had before with the 10 finger multi-touch support screen that's right there for you to either interact with with some of the widgets that they include in the Nexus setup, or you can even just scroll TikToks if that's how you want to use it. And one of the things I haven't mentioned yet, but is just a beautiful, nice touch is that the power button right here is a tactile blue switch, which feels oh so good to press to turn off like I just did, but also to turn back on. And as you can see, when we boot up, you'll see the Aorus motherboard logo because it's actually just a display that's connected to the display port on the RTX 4090. There it is. So if you're looking for an easy to build in stunning chassis with a lot of different feature sets that a seasoned experienced PC builder could want, the Y70 Touch delivers 
all of that. It's a unique case unlike anything else on the market besides its little brother, the Y60. And even then, it's a step above. And one of the best parts is we're actually giving away this entire PC over on our Twitch stream on Friday, November 17th, 2023. That's right, this whole PC can be yours thanks to Height sponsoring this video. You can check out the Y70 Touch at the link in the video description and pick up one of the most incredible cases that's launched on the market to date.